The chili stout aged in bourbon barrel won the uh, best of Asia beer. Instead of a growler, it's a crowler, which is a canned growler. We can it on the spot and then they can bring it home. This real person behind is always mysterious to outsiders. I know you know who it <laughs> who it is. <laughs> Can you tell us about how Young Master Ale came about? Well, we uh, opened about four years ago. And at that time when we opened, there was a craft, local craft brewing scene was non-existent. Um, and our founder uh, moved here to Hong Kong and realized this wasn't um, uh, existent. And he was a home brewer and he decided to quit his uh, finance job and uh, open a uh, a craft brewery and uh, up to now four years later we actually have uh, two brewing facilities uh, one uh, uh, the second one is about ten times bigger than the first one yeah our story kind of started at the same time four years ago uh, the same group of people we started a homebrew store we went the other way so we we started selling homebrew supplies we we're teaching homebrew workshops and stuff and we witnessed firsthand how the craft beer scene got really good these, these past few years. And actually some of our students became, you know, they had their own breweries as well. So people were asking us like, oh, why, why aren't you starting your own brewery? And yeah, we thought it makes sense. And um, just earlier this year, we thought, okay, we got everything ready. We got a good brewer, which is our founder. <laughs> we got me who can sit there full time. We got everything we need to start our own brewery, so the time is right, so we decided to come in. Tell us what other beers are introducing to Singapore. We actually brought um, our whole range uh, from our year rounds to even some of our more unique uh, beers like our mixed fermentation uh, fooder style beers and our barrel aging Yeah, we'll talk well. a little bit about that later. Because yeah. we, we consistently uh, make different one-off beers, mm. uh, so we got to line it up that when we make it in Hong Kong, we line it up to the shipment in Singapore that we can bring it to craft beer bars like Smith Street Taps here. And, uh, yeah. We actually brought about a range of 15 uh, this time. Uh, some of them were our one-offs in kegs uh, oh. uh, and some collaborations as well. We brought one which is a collaboration with a New York brewery called uh, Finback. Right. Uh, they came to Hong Kong and we made a beer together, so nice. we brought that over as well. Yeah. Inspiration? Inspiration of our beers come from uh, various uh, inspiration. Really, it's like maybe when we're out for a drink, uh, we come up with something, um, or even some local flavors or fruits that we want to play with. But I think more seriously is uh, to brew some uh, cutting edge beers that the local market hasn't seen before. For example, the Tartan and Goza you're drinking, we launched it uh, three years ago and it's a sour beer, right? That's nice. And uh, there was, the local market hasn't seen, a, a lot of them haven't tasted a sour beer before. Uh, so it's a bit of a test um, and the market really was uh, very receptive to it. Nice. Uh, we sold it in uh, Beertopia mm. and it was the best selling beer and, and so therefore we decided to make it a year round. So the same thing with our barrel aging, we were the first one to do a barrel aging uh, uh, and also the mixed fermentation beers in Hong Kong. Uh, again, yeah. kind of pushing the uh, limits of uh, what we can do in Hong Kong uh, and uh, competing with kind of world-class world beers. We bought some barrels from the US. Uh, we currently have uh, bourbon barrels, uh, brandy, tequila, and chardonnay barrels nice. that we're kind of toying around with and uh, seeing what goes well with that. It's been very, uh, very receptive. A lot of people really like it. It's uh, essentially a stronger beer as well. Yeah. These two are the uh, mixed fermentation uh, brewed in a, a fooder, right. uh, oak wood fermenter. Um, but uh, we also have the barrel ones in uh, bottles. Right. The barrel aged ones will continue to change because we only have a limited barrel so we'll make one batch and then we will continue to make them. We just send the uh, barrel aged one to Beer Fest Asia competition mm -hmm. and uh, right. 
the Chili Stout Age in Bourbon Barrel won the uh, Best of Asia beer. Um, this thing called Crowler. Oh yeah. yeah. So tell us about what's that all about. You know Growlers, right? Growlers are two liter uh, big jugs where in the States the culture is uh, you want to drink bring fresh beer home uh, from the brewery. You bring your growler, you fill it up in the brewery and then you, you take it back. Uh, and so now the new trend in the States is uh, instead of a growler, it's a crowler, which is a canned growler. It's one liter and uh, we can it on the spot and then they can bring it home. So we brought that to uh, Hong Kong um, and so guys can come to our brewery, nice. taste any beer that we have, even though we don't bottle them, we can uh, put it into the crawler. We seal them up on the spot and uh, we make it personalized with a label. We write your name on there, and the name of the beer. The name has been filled and uh, it's been very good. A lot of people come and even come to Hong Kong. I think you probably did bought for a souvenir and bring it back home, right? <laughs> <laughs> the way Hero does beers is to work with a person that really loves beer mm -hmm. and we ask him for his story why do you love beer like what do you do what's your life like and we get this uh, so-called hero quality from that guy mm. and then from that quality we create the recipe the design and the name of the beer so nice. each beer got its own personality inside um, what do you think people can expect when they drink your beers i think they can expect a lot from uh, more than just the taste. Like uh, if you actually buy a can home, say, um, instead of just expecting like American wheat, you can look at the uh, illustration, you can see that there are stories behind. There's actually a hero story here written here. Oh, nice. And if you go onto our website, uh, there may be no more information. And this real person behind is always mysterious to outsiders. I know you know who it, who it is. <laughs> yeah. The, the, but, the guy on, on, on the Yeah, so this, this black and white is a picture of that person behind. And the colorful part is the hero story we right. created for this person. Right. So there's a lot, of, uh, a lot of layers to this beer. So the taste, the, the style, that's, that's the first layer. You can dig deeper and deeper. There's like multi layers. Even the beer. story has a lot of layers. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, and then I guess when you go deepest, you can figure out who that is, but uh, not many people can do that. So, what is uh, people's reception when they look at, oh, this is a Hong Kong brew beer? So far, I've seen two types mm. of reactions. One is that they, they support it. Uh, first, they're unaware that there is local beer. I don't know why four years and people are still unaware. But then people are quite supportive of a local business because the beer is fresh, because it's local, they want to support local. And the, but then there are some small portion of people, they're like, Hong Kong, no. <laughs> I'll, I'll get the import you know, from America or something. Somehow, some people still think a local thing is inferior. I think they're talking more like general. Uh, maybe not giving a chance to. But I think the important one is the awareness part. It's still a lot of uh, awareness to do uh, for, for us, for all, for the Craft Beer Association to uh, build, create more awareness that there are a lot of local breweries now. There's, since we started four years ago, there's like, I think 25 to 30 wow. small local breweries in Hong Kong now. So it's growing, so it's obviously that there is a need for it, um, um, a want for it, but uh, there's a lot more room to expand, uh, like he said, 2% only, right? So, so there you have it. Uh, Young Master Ales and Heroes Beer are now available in Singapore. Yep. At um, your favorite bottle shop or your favorite uh, bar or pub, if they don't have, you can look for, uh, where is he? You can look for, hey, Sylvester. Sylvester. Yeah, you can look for this fella. Come, come, come. Right. He's the, yeah. he's so, the salesman. Yeah. Hi. Yeah, so if, if your, your place don't have any bottles or, or, or any. Of heroes and uh, young master. Uh, yeah, yeah. Too tall for the camera. <laughs> yeah, look for him, Sylvester. Yeah, like call him, uh, Google. Uh, 
you bring heroes and uh, young master yeah. to your place. So, uh, so it's been a pleasure, guys. Thank you. You know, so, thank you, thank uh, you for having us and uh, you know letting us share a bit of our story yeah, as well. My pleasure, my pleasure. Hope to see more of your beers in Singapore yeah. soon. So, uh, cheers. 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 Cheers.